Hi guys, I am Luan Skaggs and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to be making this mirror behind me and if you guys would like to see how I made that mirror then come with me and let's get started. To get started you will follow the link in the description down below and download the pattern. Now the pattern would be free for the first 48 hours. So if you get to the pattern before the first 48 hours then it is free. So we'll separate the two pieces from the paper and we'll cut along this line. We'll place some glue right here and we'll stick the two pieces together. And we'll try to get all the lines line up perfectly. Once we have these two pieces together, we'll cut out these two pieces from the paper and trace them out on cardboard. You could use empty cereal boxes to trace out your designs because the shiny side on the cereal box would give you a nice finish on your mirror. So we'll take the shape like the water droplet and we'll cover that with mirror reflective paper. I didn't show you how to cover it with the mirror reflective paper on the video because it was very easy to do and I don't want the video to be too long. But this is the mirror reflective paper that I used and all of the materials would be linked in the description down below. And once you put it onto the poster board or your cereal box, remember to take the protective layer of the mirror reflective paper. Then I took the ones that shape like a high heel shoes without the heel and I spray painted them silver. This was to ensure that when I do the crushed mirror glass or the Dollar Tree sequence like I'll be using in this video that if we had any open spaces it wouldn't show the cardboard. Then we'll take the pattern that had the line in it and we'll cut out the tip right by the line. We'll use this as a guide to draw it onto the pattern that we spray painted. You don't have to spray paint yours, but it gives it a richer look in the end. And we'll mark a line on all of the pieces. This just tells us where we could place our crushed mirror glass or our Dollar Tree sequence. So I'll be using these sequins that I picked up from the Dollar Tree. They come in different colors. I took out the silver and I poured several packs of the sequins into a bowl. I love using these plastic sequins instead of the crushed mirror glass because you don't have to worry about cutting yourself. And I think it almost gives the same look as the crushed mirror glass without all the hazards of using crushed mirror glass. And it's a lot cheaper as well. To stick it onto the pattern, I'm using glue sticks because I want it to dry really fast. You could use regular glue, it would just take a little bit longer. And if you're using the glue sticks, we'll do it in little sections because the glue sticks dries extremely fast. So we need to be working in little sections. So we'll do one section and we'll come and we'll do another section and keep it in the sequence like that. And we also want to be shaping the edge as we go along because we want to keep the pattern the same. We'll continue putting the glue in little sections at a time and putting on the sequence until we get to the end. We'll do the same for all the rest of the pieces and then we'll come back. Now this part is completely optional. But if you want to make sure that the pieces you place on the mirror is perfectly aligned, then you could use this template. And to put it together, we'll start by cutting straight along this line. Then we'll glue these two pieces together. And for this one, we'll cut to each point on the top of the paper, just like I'm doing here. And once we get to the side here, we want to cut it in a straight line so it would be easier to glue onto the pattern. Once we put on our glue, we'll carefully line up the lines to finish our pattern. And I made this pattern to fit the Dollar Tree 8 inch mirror perfectly. So we could use this pattern to create lots of different designs using the 8 inch mirror from the Dollar Tree. Then you want to cut a foam board or a cardboard a little smaller than the Dollar Tree mirror. 
and we will place this in the center of the pattern and we would take these 12 inch skewers you could leave them just like this but if you look to the side of the mirror you might see the boards so i spray painted them with the same rust-oleum metallic spray paint now we'll take our skewers and having the pattern as a guide we'll push our skewers into the foam board using the pattern as a guide Once we are finished with the frame, we'll turn our attention to the pattern pieces. We'll take the piece covered with the mirror reflective paper, we'll put that on top, and we'll take the piece we covered with the sequence and we'll put that below. Once you have the piece in place, raise up one end and glue it together. Once you have one piece glued, you could lift it up and glue down the other side. Now we could start gluing the pieces onto the frame, making sure that the smooth side is under the mirror. We'll continue gluing the pieces all the way around and then we'll come back. Once we are done gluing the top part, we would raise the pieces up and glue the pieces onto the scale. And because this mirror is so light, to hang it on the wall, I cut a command strip in half and put it on the top and the bottom. Because I'm staying in a rental, this is how I'll hang it on the wall. Once we are finished with all of that, we could glue the mirror in place. You could stop right here and leave your mirror just like this, but I want to use this flower mesh shape wrap and cover up the edges of the mirror. And for it to nicely go around the frame, there are two strings holding the flowers together. Cut one of the strings on one side so it could shape nicely around the mirror. Once you're done, you could hang it on the wall and this is how it looks. I like the way it looks, but now that it's all put together, it looks like a sun rays hitting out from the middle. I wasn't particularly going for that look, but that's how it came out. So if this is something that you like and it's something that you'd like to try out, let me know in the comment section down below. You know I love hearing from you guys. Now I'd also like you to vote on these two projects, which one you'd like to see coming up in the future. Would you like to see project number one or project number two? Leave it in the comments section down below. Now as these projects stands, if I'm creating them, they might change because I can't stick to one thing, but this is the basic idea. So let me know which one you'd prefer in the comments section down below. Bye for now, stay safe and have a blessed and wonderful day.